Everybody knows about the ski resort of Whistler. But did you know in the 1970s there was another ski resort proposed to be developed just north of Squamish? This is the remains of a gondola tower on Brom Ridge. Several lift towers were built in a beautiful European style lodge at the top. But that's where construction stopped. I had never before heard of this potential resort next door to Whistler and was curious about the story. I dug and I researched online to find whatever evidence was out there. I'm gonna guess that the power generating equipment would have been in this building to power the lifts. Enter Austrian engineer and Olympic skier named Adi F. Bauer in 1959. Bauer planned to build the world's longest aerial gondola tramway at 9 kilometers long, climbing 1,800 meters in elevation, bringing 600 people per hour to the luxury Royal Alpine Hotel, with ambitious sights set on hosting future Winter Olympics. 16 square kilometers of ski runs and a 6 kilometer bobsleigh run were mentioned to equal anything Europe has to offer. The price tag for this project was 5.5 million. Several months later, towers for the chairlifts were built and the gondolas purchased and stored in the base building when work ceased because the monies had run out. Bauer had reportedly been in the US and not been reached for weeks. Bauer eventually served one month jail time for defrauding his investors. But the project isn't dead. 50 years later, a new four season resort called Garibaldi at Squamish is attempting to make its way through the approval process with the key part hinging upon environmental approval. To me, this is very intriguing because if it had become a reality, the effect on the Sea to Sky region would have been widespread and the current ski resort landscape would have looked a lot different. I hiked up to the chalet to see the view from the top. It is a glorious sunny day up here on the ridge. I've just skied up to the chalet, which is behind me. It is operated by the Black Tusk Snowmobile Club, and it's a beautiful building. Look at the European style. You could almost mistake that we're in the Alps. I, lo I love this style of architecture, but it's here in Canada. And uh, members of the Black Tusk Snowmobile Club, which get to come up here and use it, you have to pay to stay overnight, but it's a really special recreation area up here. And so those members are opposed to the Garibaldi at Squamish Resort because they lose access to this area. And you can see the signs. They've got a couple banners which say SaveBrom.com. So that those are people who both sledders and ski tours alike would lose access to this if it became a resort development. Various gondola foundations remain near the chalet reminders of the failed project. Man, the views are absolutely gorgeous up here. After passing through several hands, from Wolfgang Richter in the 1980s, Garibaldi Alpen Resorts in the 90s, to Aquilini Development and Northland Properties today, the same developer behind Revelstoke Mountain Resort, and owners of the NHL teams Vancouver Canucks and Dallas Stars, Garibaldi at Squamish obtained an Environmental Assessment Certificate in January 2016, and is in preliminary planning and approval stage for the next two years. The AIM has construction starting in 2024, just two years away, and opening in 2028. Resort development is a hot topic which gets people charged and leads to passionate discussion and debates about weather, climate, environmental aspects, recreation, tourism, and localism. The conversation is still open and the developers are taking surveys and feedback. Opposition groups like the Federation of Mountain Clubs BC suggest that the boundary for Garibaldi Provincial Park be extended further to protect Brom Ridge. Now down here on the valley bottom, 
we see this square concrete moss covered structure. Now was this concrete foundation the base for the connected to the other lifts up on the mountain? I'm not sure. It could be. It would have had to have some sort of lift base at the bottom so this could be related to uh, the abandoned ski lifts. As of this date, the future of Brom Ridge is not yet known.